Uh, what are you doing? You want to talk? You hesitate. It's on the internet. It never goes away. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. I don't know how many people are watching your live stream. Oh, there's probably going to be a lot by the end of the day. Uh, yeah. What brought you here, if I may ask? Uh, yeah, well, I disagree with Billboard Chris's political views, so okay. I came here. Uh, I'm, it's also really interesting uh, okay. to witness this. Yeah. This is good. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to hear this now. What do you disagree specifically with Billboard Chris about? I disagree with who he associates with. He goes with people like Tucker Carlson. He obviously uses the, we're going to use conversations as really, sure. a, oh, sorry, that's going on. Uh, as a dog whistle, I think, because he, you know, he brings up faulty statistics. He doesn't really seem to be talking to people. He had actually a debate scheduled with a left-wing political streamer, then he ended up canceling it. Did it get, did it get canceled because of threats of violence? I don't know. Okay, now hold on a second. Let's just back it up and go one by one. Um, without getting into who he associates with, specifically, if, well, let's just take one issue at a time. What do you disagree with that Chris says? Sure, for example, when he wears uh, an outfit that is, like, the definition of, so I keep bumping into the, the definition of, like, blank, then, like, blank, it's very clearly trying to show, oh, trans women are women. Like, that's a joke, yeah. right? And I think that that's just really reductive. Like, he clearly doesn't care. That's not any conversation. It's just bigotry, really, and I don't think that that's good. Um, now, I'm going to ask you this. You're, uh, you're a, clearly a biological male. Uh, do you understand a woman who might say that as a biological male to say that another biological male who identifies as being female becomes female, how that could be erasure for the woman? I don't think many people, well, that's why we differentiate sex and gender, right? Okay. But then when you say a trans woman is a woman, you're confusing sex and gender. No, because a woman is a woman. Usually when people use the word woman, it's about gender. Whereas, yeah. Uh, if I were to posit that no one ever uses the word woman as gender, but only as sex, would we then concede, if we give it another name, a trans woman, let's say like civil union versus marriage for the marriage debate of, of gay rights. Some people said, I don't want to call it marriage, I'll call it civil union. If we say we'll call uh, women who identify, men who identify as women as something else, a respectful word, but not women, would you concede that that would be a, a decent middle ground in the debate? No. Then what does a woman mean? I think that... I feel, I feel like Matt Walsh all of a sudden, but what does a woman mean? Seriously. Well, I think that woman, like any category, it's very complicated. Like, if you were to define a chair or something, you wouldn't be able to find a rigid definition that matches everything you want to associate with that. I would say a flat, a flat board with uh, legs uh, to support it. Now, something might not be a chair, but could be used as a chair. But I would define a chair as something on legs that has a flat base that you could sit on. Something that has legs? No, I don't think so. I think that's that it's something... Table. Yeah, that's a table. And that? you could use a table as a chair. But it's a chair. No, it isn't. Right? So the thing is, is that... It, but you're talking about now what makes something in terms of its use. So are you saying that what makes a woman a woman is how a woman is used? Where do you get that? Well, you say if it has, uh, it can be used as a chair, but it's not a chair. Therefore, there's no such thing as a chair. Sorry, say that again. What's the definition of a chair? Uh, I think the definition is really complicated. I think the way definitions work is you don't have like, an, you don't go to Oxford or Merriam-Webster and look, okay, this is the definition. You think of a series of patterns, like you'd like, okay, what is this? So what are the series of patterns that make a woman a woman? A series of women? I think that there's a lot of social uh, elements to whether that is. And So you say that women are not a biological creature, they're a series of patterns. Uh, well, same words with a man. I think that's just everything in general. Like, that sounds optically bad. That sounds misogynistic. Or it sounds misandrous going there. It, it does. Yeah, it does. But I think that uh, to say, if I was to say, oh, a woman is uh, someone with a, like, you know. A woman is uh, someone with XX chromosomes who has the small gametes, if we go by a biological definition. And someone can think they look like a superficial, you know, a woman superficially, but they're not and won't be. Uh, well, I disagree because I think when we use the word, we use it in a way that doesn't really have to do with any internal, like, chromosomes, right? If you're attracted to someone, you don't think of what the chromosomes are. If you're like, oh, I'm a straight man, I like women, or whatever, or I'm a, you know, gay man and I like men, you don't think of what's on the inside. You think of who they are as a person and stuff. No, I think of uh, a woman that has a superficially a, a vagina. But I, but I do know that there are some medical, like intersex, I think is the one medical exception of someone with a, with a male's penis but female chromosomes, which is like a scientific anomaly. Well, I disagree and that's that. Really. Okay. Awesome, thank you. I disagree and that's that. That is that. Okay, fair enough. No, no, they're talking, they're talking. What do you have to say, sir? <laughs> oh, yeah, sir. And what do you have to say? This? Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, and that pretty much sums up the debate today, people. <laughs> I'm joking.